This compilation of creative interventions that use dominant academic conventions to deconstruct other dominant conventions highlights how black artists repurpose and weaponize the authority associated with the aesthetics of intellectualism in order to break down the very structures that those disciplines uphold. Critical race theory is a crucial example of this format. In Kimberly Crenshaw's article, 20 Years of Critical Race Theory, Looking Back to Move Forward, she details how there is a specific reason that critical race theory has found its foothold in legal discourse. It is precisely the authority of the aesthetics of the law and legal discourse that critical race theory weaponizes as a base from which to critique the rule of law itself, as well as a gateway to critiques of other disciplines and their epistemologies. Renee Cox's incorporation of mathematics in her sacred geometry video and images uses geometry, fractals, symmetry, and planar mathematics in conjunction with images of black bodies to present the black body as transcendent, upending a discipline whose principles have been used to fuel biodeterminism and instead weaponizing it in service of an aesthetics of liberation. Lena Iris Victor and Houston and Estella Conwell all repurposed the aesthetics of astronomy in order to assert the place of blackness in other disciplines. Lena Iris Victor's use of Fibonacci sequences and constellations in her multimedia paintings asserts beauty and blackness and the place of blackness in art, while Houston and Estella Conwell's translation of black stories into a cosmogram format centers and advances black narratives and histories by centering their importance in a collective timeline. Kai Davis's slam poem, I Look Like, repurposes formal elements of poetry and art forms subsumed into academia under the discipline of English, such as rhyme, alliteration, and consonants to turn English academic convention on its head, critiquing Euro white hegemonies of academia not only through her content, but also through her format. Fred Wilson's curated museum exhibits, Mining the Museum, and art installations such as Meat of the Muse, use the format of the gallery installation and the aesthetics of the formal discipline of capital A art, such as art placement, informative placards, and the museum space itself as a site for interrogation of the hegemonic art curation and presentation produced by the museum. Through these methods, Wilson elevates African art over museum canon, upending and exposing Eurocentric epistemologies of art. These artists and their creative interventions use power to destabilize power, turning hegemonic authority against itself as they form an aesthetics of liberation.